don't really know what anyone is after. Report back to me when, uh, I don't know, when it makes sense. with the FBI on this dead body. No, no, God, no. Burn the body. Okay. This is my review for Burn After Reading, released in 2008. I personally love how the Coens mix their genres and tones of their films, ranging from dramas to wacky comedies, and after the brilliant No Country for Old Men, it's back to the comedy with Burn After Reading. The first aspect of Burn After Reading that interested me was the cast. George Clooney, Brad Pitt, John Malkovich, Francis McDormand, J.K. Simmons, to name but a few. As I've mentioned before, I like movies that see a wide range of actors and characters interacting with each other and this is no different. All the combinations they use seem to work. I will say off the bat that there was one element I did not quite enjoy about this film and because of it it took me a while to fully get into the movie. I think that this may have been because I wasn't into the storyline of George Clooney's character having an affair with Tilda, Sw Tilda, Sw Tilda Swinton's character and that whole marriage falling apart stuff. However, I was mainly not interested in that story when it was only those characters involved. Once Brad Pitt and Francis McDormand got involved, the whole movie definitely picked up and just kept on going until the end. I found it a joy to watch these characters bumbling around and messing stuff up. Brad Pitt was very good in this goofy role and he and Francis McDormand make a great on-screen team. Francis McDormand was awesome in the film, creating both a funny and sort of tragic character. Same can be said about the character of Ted, played by Richard Jenkins, a brilliant supporting performance, creating a lot of big laughs for me, my favourite being when his character visits the bar. David Rausch and J.K. Simmons work very well together as two CIA officials who have no idea what's going on. What I really love about this film is the sense of fun. Nothing has to make sense. It's just a lot of fun. This thought is reflected during the final scene and lines in the movie, one of the funniest moments in the film. Oh, I will say one thing. Did anyone else feel some of the music cues were a bit off? For example, the really dark, ominous music that played during the boat scene with John Malkovich, uh, sorry, with his characters, with John Malkovich's character and his character's uh, dad. I thought that, that was a bit off. All, all in all, Burn After Reading is a well-written, well-directed and well-thought-out tale of madness. The joy in this film comes from watching the top-notch performances across the board. One of the best times I've had in the cinema for a long while and a highlight of 2008. Osborne Cox? Yes. I thought you might be worried about the security of your shit. 